Hello there everybody and welcome back. So today in this video I thought I'd do sort of like a showcase on some retro toys that I recently um, purchased from eBay. Yep, good old eBay has served me well and I mean taken back to my childhood. That is the um, 80s. So you can probably tell by now for you nosy buggers thinking how old is she? There you go. Give you a rough estimate there so yeah these are some toys that i picked up recently because i wanted to relive my childhood and obviously one particular um item from this lot i used to have as a child and god knows what happened to it, it probably got i don't know chucked in the bin or taken to like a uh, jumble sale or a boot fair or something but it was one of my favourite toys and it was really nice to actually acquire this and the rest. I would like to acquire the whole set but obviously it depends on availability and also price. But I picked these up really cheaply, um, under £20. I think they worked at about like £4 something each. I think I got them for about, yeah, just under 20 quid or something. So let's have a look. It's raining. Pocket popples or mini popples, depending what you like to call them, really. But it's amazing because I don't know about people out there who uh, were obviously born in the 80s, 70s, 60s, whatever era that you were born in. And I suppose as a, as a kid, you didn't really care what the actual item looked like or the quality. You just liked it for what it is and you played with it and you enjoyed it. But when you get to an adult and obviously you just rediscover these um toys it's amazing how i don't know how to explain how cheap these toys are cheap not tacky but sort of cheaply made but obviously for obviously they're being made for kids back in them days so yeah but i think these are i think they're made in china taiwan or it's sort of that sort of Asian region really but yeah these came in a set of about I think they came in around about a set of 10 I could be mistaken um but these are the guys that I picked up in the lot there's also they do have names they have their own sort of characters names colors and all different fun things and that's my phone I'll be right back well, that's definitely a first. Right, moving on. So, yeah, please welcome, from left to right, we have PC, Puzzle, Party, and Pancake. Pocket Popples. Yeah, they have their own um, individual names, and it probably all begins with the letter P. Yeah, it's starting to feel like Sesame Street here. Yeah, so... They're really bright, um, colourful characters. Um, they were part of a franchise from, I believe it was Mattel. I could be wrong. Um, I'll probably show the touch tag in a moment and we'll probably find out together what these toys are all about. But yeah, they're essentially like a French off, French off, French off? What the hell was that? That's not even a word. <laughs> franchise, shall I say. Um, from the 80s. I, went th I think it was around about 1986 uh, when these toys actually came out and they released a variety of plush toys and basically anything and everything that you can imagine they released. Um, yeah, and it was definitely um, along the lines of like um, other franchises like um, Gummy Bears, what are they called? Like My Little Pony, Wuzzles or something? I'm not sure if they were called that. Sort of these weird hybrid um, characters, also from sort of the 80s and stuff. Yeah, so a number of. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is going so well. So, enough of me rambling on there. So, I'll show you the first one. And that is PC. I don't know why it's called PC. Politically Correct. I don't know if it has anything to do with the actual um, computers and stuff. Let's move these guys out of the way because they are going to affect the um, the um, focus of the camera. 
so yeah, as you can see, these are really sort of small um, toys, probably around about maybe four or five inches tall, maybe. I'll probably get my tape measure out in a moment and show you what the actual um, sizes are. But as you can see, these are based off the popples, and obviously a lot smaller, and they probably came in about probably about ten to collect in the set. As you can see. The actual, I've noticed mine, although they are in really good condition considering their age, although it's really difficult, the actual, um, the sun's gone in a bit, so it probably might be easier if I put the camera on. And that is much better, you can get a, hopefully a much better look at the colours. So yeah, this came in different colours, this one is blue, PC. The actual bodies though do look uh, somewhat faded. Now, I don't know if this was originally how they were supposed to look or whether over the years the fabric, the colour, I think it's like polyester, has faded. You can tell for this one because if I sort of, if you see inside, you can see it's a little bit darker. But this might be due to dirt because I don't know if you can actually see or whether the camera's going to pick that up. Yeah, these, these guys could do with a clean because obviously these are over 20 years old. Um... Well, nearly 30 years old actually and um yeah these are probably 30 years old now let's have a look actually in the touch tag but obviously from their names because they pop you can actually fold these guys inside out so i do it with this guy here for some reason i used to have the pink one and i did not like actually doing this because i thought it was hurting it i didn't want to actually damage the actual toy um there we go Try and get his arms in. So as you can see, they sort of folded inside it into like a pocket. And when you flipped them back um, back out, they would almost like, well, give the impression that they're popping out. But this is really cool. It still has the original touch tag, although this one has some bizarre... It looks like it's got 2016. 2016. That is really weird. Freaky. But as you can see, you can see the actual colours from where the seam line is a lot darker so it could be due to age or dirt but you can see the actual we've got some blue stitching detail there and the touch tags are actually in really good condition if we can get the camera to focus you can see there we go 19 copyright 1986 um does that say those characters which just says those characters from Cleveland Incorporated, Mattel Incorporated, USA, blah, 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 made in China. And at the back, you've got uh, the registered um, number, patented or something, I'm not sure. All the materials consisting of polyester fibre. Yeah, so, as you can see, there's like a... Um, I think this that must be like a um, product sort of number there. Yeah, so, wow, these are like 30 years old now. Mistake me if I'm wrong. But yeah, for a toy that's that old, it's um, in really good condition. If I just sort of take it back out. Yeah. Oh, you have a tight squeeze. There we go. So as you can see, it's got a really nice bright orange um, tail. The yellow and purple little puffball tip to his um, tail there. Now the actual toy itself is made from a combination of, sort of hard plastic, sort of PVC maybe. Sort of probably hollow. Um, you've got this, obviously the face plate which is probably stuck onto the actual um, body of the toy, or should I say PC. His arms are actually, they do have some articulation. I don't know if you can call it articulation, really. They go 360. It's probably like a um, like a, a socket or like a special way they, these toys are made. Um, and the actual paws, they do have some markings in purple. The actual legs do rotate 360. As you can see, there's some 
sort of purple um, print detail there. Really love the colours. It's like a light sort of baby blue. And you've got his stomach, which is yellow. And it's made from like um, probably synthetic material. Camera. There we go. And it looks like almost these are hand painted, but I, well, the actual transfers have been applied. This one is obviously a boy because he's got no eyelashes. He's got green eyes. And what I really loved about these toys was the fact that the ears are like a heart shaped. A heart shape, shall I say. Might be a bit difficult if I show you the back. And it's in orange and yellow. Now one thing I did notice about these toys is the actual hair or wig um, was originally glued down but obviously over the years this glue is um, coming apart and as you can see it's um, coming loose. This one's not too bad, the other guys you, you can probably, you will be able to see in a moment. Um, but yeah, really cool. So that's Pancake there, Pocket Popples. Really cute. So next up is probably one of my favourites, this is Puzzle. I didn't have this one as a, as a child, but I wish I did. Because as you can see, it's orange. Orange with um, green hair. As you can see, the actual glue has come off. It's sort of disintegrated over the years. He's got red and blue ears. Really nice, sort of velvety sort of ears. I really do like that. Same again, you've got this orange hard plastic, and it's a girl. Well, I like to think it's a girl with um, purple cheeks, green eyes. I wonder if I can show you as close up as I can the actual um, transfers. I very much doubt it though. Really cool. Yellow stomach, um, which is the same as PC. But same again, it looks very, like the orange looks very faded. Really cool though. I do like the contrast of the orange and blue. For the feet also at the back of the paws for some reason it's green i would have thought it would have been the same color but never mind with that orange nose the nose is it does have a little nick as you can see a red um sort of tail with blue and green really cool you've got this orange um stitch work And uh, same again, that's the touch tag. It's quite nice, it's got no uh, ink sort of stains on it, as you can see. Ah, that's interesting. Now this one says 1985, as you can see there. So these ones did vary. Some must have come out in 1985 and some in 1986. So that's interesting. So some of these are like over... Just over 30 years old, about 31, so sort of 30 years old. Yeah, really interesting. Really do like that. Um, I will give these guys, you can see the difference, give these guys a clean up and probably post um, images onto my um, social media accounts. So, next up, um, this is actually, I'm going to do now. This one I did have as a child. And this one apparently is called Party. And um, this is the one I used to have as a child. Pink. Really cute. I love this toy. See, she's got her heart-shaped ears, which do look a bit like they're almost faded. One's supposed to be pink. The other one looks like it was supposed to be maybe blue or purple. It looks quite sort of um, faded. But actually really good condition though. The actual hair is still there. It hasn't like sort of started to separate. She's got lovely blue eyes. The transfers are in really good condition. It does have a little bit of, sort of scuffing around her muzzle. She's got purple um, sort of cheeks there. With a white chest there. The actual pores are different. Um, purple and pink back of her you can see the actual change as well as you can see her hair there was really bright pink at the front it's a little bit more sort of faded there's her, her pouch inside now this one actually reads let's have a look 
um, what's the date? This one might be a 1985. No, this one's 1986. Oh, that's interesting. I would have thought it would be 1985. As you can see, her tail is sort of like a purpley um, sort of colour with white and pink. She does have some, I don't know what on earth that is, something that's got stuck. A bit of, oh, there we go. Got rid of it. A bit of paper. Same again, the arms, the limbs and the, the legs move 360, made of hard plastic. Really cool. It would be cool to get the other guys. I know there's like um, a white one, a green one, a, I think a different shade of purple. There's one with like a nightcap on. I think there's a yellow one as well, which I would like to get. So that one is Party. And lastly, we have like a pinky, well, a purple one. And this one is called Pancake. Same again, in really good condition. There is some staining to her ears, as you can see. But maybe after I've given these guys a nice clean up, they might um, turn out a bit brighter. Really cool, though. It's actually nice to see a different uh, type of colour. This one's green. For her chest, she's got lovely pink uh, cheeks there. Same again, in really good condition. I think they're just generally a bit, um, a bit grubby. Now the actual towel to her is the same for her, was her arms and her legs, purple. Really nice, really nice. She's got orange and a purple sort of contrast there. Now her paws are blue, and the soles of her feet are orange. And she came out in um, 1980, 1985. It, I've noticed as well with these toys, um, as you can see, it they do have a very distinct um, old sort of smell, like. Um, a cross between like tobacco and sort of old, that old smell like you do find in books and stuff. So yeah, we're definitely giving those guys a good clean up. So yeah, you can pick these up really inexpensively. Um, I've seen, I think the yellow one on eBay for about twenty odd pounds. So I don't really want to pay that just for one. I got these guys for about four pounds something each. Yeah, 4, 8, 12, 16. I got these guys for about £16 something, so I thought that was a really good price. And I just thought I'd show you guys something a bit different, something sort of retro from my era. Rather than showing you Sonic or Nintendo or anime, it's nice to actually show you guys something that's from my childhood. And if you're watching this video and obviously you were born in the 80s, then obviously you might uh, recognise these toys. So if I do get any more of these, I will definitely um, show you guys and show you the, um, the variety and all the different characters that you can collect. So that's it really. Um, one thing I will do is very quickly, um, I should have done this before, I didn't think to do it uh, the usual. If you're interested to know what the actual height, how big these are, these guys are very small, they're about three inches tall. I'll just um I'm just straighten on the uh the legs out. Now the actual body there we go is around about they're around about four inches. But obviously if you're including the tail then you are talking six inches. So between four to six inches tall these guys are. Really cute retro um toys there. So that's really all I've got to say there on these really cool toys, Blast from the Past. My, um, yeah, 1985 and 86 um, Pocket Popples there from Orange Hedgehog 2012. So I hope you enjoyed this video there, guys. And as always, take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. So I thought I'd uh, throw this uh, extra part in just to show you, obviously, how I wash... Um, toys um, especially 80 toys 
So I have done this before, so if you want to check out the Sonic one that I did, I will put a link down below if you want to check that out. But um, I've got all the guys ready, so what I'm going to do is first off put a scoop of Vanish Oxy Action Stain Remover. I need sort of like a, um, a scoop full of that. And I'm also going to put a little bit of um, fabric conditioner in just to soften soften everything up. Um, what I'm going to do is put these, just plop these guys straight in really. And as you can see, the pink one does have some staining. Whether that's going to come out or not, I'm not entirely sure. But I um, decided not to wear gloves today because um, I can't seem to find ones that I normally do. But yeah, I don't really recommend you washing these without wearing gloves. But um, yeah, I'm just making an exception today. Let's add some more water. Just to get these guys a proper clean. As you can see, these are looking a lot brighter. And um, these look very like... Um, they had that sort of tobacco-y old sort of smell, as I uh, like to call it. As you can see, the water is, uh, yeah, a bit murky. The actual plastic, though, is uh, in really good condition. Yeah, overall in really good nick. But I don't want to leave these guys too submerged in this um, powder stuff. So let's see if actually it's taken the stain off of that pink. It's a little, it's there a little bit still, but it's not bad. So that's that. Let the uh, water drain, and I'm going to start rinsing these guys off. So I'm just going to go and quickly get a towel. Down. Start rinsing these guys off. I probably won't use the um, fabric conditioner, but I thought I would um, add it on standby just in case I need it. The hair looks a lot brighter, as you can hopefully, hopefully see. My battery is actually uh, quite low, so if this cuts out, then I apologise. Go as very quick as I can. But as you can see, they're looking a lot brighter. One. Lastly, that's the fourth one. As you can see, they look uh, a lot better. Very nice indeed. So yeah, that's my uh, just quick showing you guys of how I wash um, toys, especially 80s toys. So yeah, hopefully I will catch you in the next segment. So before I end this video finally, I just wanted to show you the actual results. Really pleased how these guys turned out. They are a lot better um, compared to what they were before. There were some areas, obviously it's just due to age really, especially for the, um, the ears. They seem to have like um, a permanent sort of stain on them. Um, as for Party, um, the stain on her back did come off um, 
it's still there it still remains a bit but um i'm still pretty happy with how these guys turned out but i think most of it's due to just age really because these are quite old um toys there but um yeah they do look like in a lot better condition and um yeah for 30 odd years old really nice collectibles and um yeah they can be really inexpensive so i definitely do recommend them if you love all this sort of cutesy um toys from the 80s then yeah I do definitely recommend getting hold of these guys uh they're more readily available probably on ebay.com they do pop up every so often on ebay uk but not that often but also um check out the european sort of ebay as well they seem to be more readily available on there so i hope you enjoyed this um sort of showcasing and sort of um washing uh, video there and how I wash um, sort of 80s toys there from Orange Hedgehog 2012. So as always guys, take care of yourselves and I will see you again quite soon. So thanks for watching and take care. Bye.